India's Endure Air Systems successfully demonstrated its Sabal 20 logistics drone in Bhutan, delivering supplies to Fajoding Monastery in 10 minutes instead of a three hour trek. With 20 kilograms payload, high altitude endurance, stealth design, and autonomous capabilities, the indigenous UAV showcases India's UAV innovation and strengthens regional partnerships in challenging terrains. DRDO's AD announced that Tapa's BH-201 UAV will fly with its first indigenous 180-horsepower engine by late September or October 2025. Designed for long-endurance intelligence, surveillance, target acquisition, and reconnaissance missions, Tapas can fly 24 hours at 30,000 feet. This marks a key step toward self-reliance, replacing earlier foreign engines with domestic technology. India will integrate DRDO's Indigenous Air Independent Propulsion System into INS Kanderi during its 2026 refit. Developed with LNT and Thermax, the fuel cell-based system will extend underwater endurance from 2 to 3 days to 13 to 15 days. Sea trials are set for 2027, marking a major boost in submarine stealth and self-reliance. The Indian Army is installing Advanced Perimeter Intrusion Detection Systems, PIDS, along the LOC with Pakistan to stop infiltration and strengthen border security. Equipped with sensors, cameras, AI, and smart fencing, PIDS provides real-time monitoring in tough terrains. This technology boosts surveillance, reduces manpower dependence, and enables faster response to threats. India's RTA-90 program, led by HAL and NAL, aims to build a 90-seat turboprop for regional travel under Make in India. Backed by the IAF as its first customer, the aircraft promises lower costs, short runway operations, and dual civilian military roles, with potential deployment by 2032 after government approval. Larsen and Tubro has been chosen as DRDO's partner to produce a 1,500 horsepower automatic transmission system for next generation tanks and armored vehicles. Developed by CVRD, the system boosts mobility, reliability, and efficiency. This step strengthens India's self reliance, supports projects like FRCV and Arjun MK2, and may open export opportunities. Pakistani analyst Aisha Siddika warns that Army Chief Asim Munir's recent comments, referencing Mukesh Ambani and Reliance, signal a threat not just to Jamnagar refinery, but to Mumbai itself, India's financial hub. Drawing parallels to the 2611 attacks, she suggests Pakistan may target Mumbai's economy in a future conflict. The CISF is inducting its first all-women commando team, with training underway in Madhya Pradesh. The eight-week program prepares women for quick reaction teams and special task force roles through advanced physical, weapons, and survival training. At least 100 women will join initially, marking a big step toward gender parity and stronger operational capabilities. NTPC will launch its first nuclear project, a 2,800 megawatts plant in Rajasthan's Banswara with MPCIL, next month. The project has four reactors, with the first unit due in 2031 and full completion by 2036. NTPC plans 30 gigawatts nuclear capacity by 2047, partnering with global firms to expand India's nuclear power. India and China, 
agreed to revive border trade by reopening Himachal's Shipki Law Crossing alongside Lipulek and Natha Law. The move, enabled by CM Suku's push and bilateral talks, also expands the Kailash Mansarovar Yatra from 2026. This revival promises stronger trade, tourism, and cultural ties after suspension since 2020. Defense analysts has urged India to develop a 50-ton man stealth bomber based on the indigenous Guttuk UCAV design instead of acquiring Russia's massive 2160M bomber. He argues the 2160M, despite its speed and heavy payload, is too large and detectable by modern air defenses, making it unsuitable for India's needs. A Guttuk-derived bomber, however, would offer stealth survivability, long-range strike capability, manned-on-man -man teaming, and technological self-reliance. They suggest leveraging AMCA and Guttuk technologies for engines, composites, and avionics. Though costly, such a program could transform India's air power and ensure true strategic autonomy. <laughs> India has launched a sanctioned program to develop a 120 kN thrust jet engine with full intellectual property rights and a domestic supply chain, marking a major step toward aerospace self-reliance under Make in India. Designed by DRDO's GTRE with industry partners, the engine will power next-generation aircraft like the AMCA Stealth Fighter. The initiative focuses on indigenous design, advanced materials, local manufacturing, and world-class testing, reducing dependence on foreign suppliers. With complete ownership, India strengthens national security, gains technological autonomy, and positions itself as a future exporter of advanced jet engines, boosting its defense and aerospace ecosystem. <laughs> India's AMCA MK-2 stealth fighter program has advanced with Safran GTRE, co-developing a new 120 kN thrust engine. This clean sheet design, with a 10 to 1 thrust to weight ratio, will power the 25 ton twin engine fighter, enabling stealth, supercruise, and superior agility. With 1.29 thrust to weight ratio, the AMCA MK2 will rival top fighter, like the F 22 Raptor, offering rapid acceleration, vertical climb, and high G maneuvering. Its 73 kN dry thrust per engine, allows sustained supersonic speed from Mach 1.2 to 1.5 without afterburners, boosting range, efficiency, and stealth. This represents a 23% performance leap over Rafale, positioning India closer to sixth-generation fighter capabilities. That's all from YKS team for now. Hope you liked today's video. Please subscribe our channel for more such videos. Thanks for watching.